Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So I haven't been out on a van cam adventure in a long time now. So I decided instead of going on the roundabout or roadside stuff, we'll do a little van adventure tonight. But I want to change things up a little bit with the van tonight. I want to take out this bed unit and these two seats that I have left in. And I'm going to put a single mattress in. Only a thin single mattress we're using to pull up bed upstairs just to see if the, the quality of sleep is any better. So, first things we need to do is we're going to remove this and we're going to get um, an old socket set and pull those two seats out. And we'll fit the mattress and we'll give it a bit of test out now. The mattress is going to be a bit big, so we're going to have to really, I'm not, I don't want to cut this mattress just yet. So we're just going to shove it, squeeze it in the best we can, and the same with the far end there, because the mattress is three foot by six foot three, and I think we've got like, uh, I think we've got maybe about two foot ten, two foot nine there, something like that. And down that end shouldn't be a problem because we've only just forced down below the seat. But anyway, let's get this removed and see it looks like. Voila, just like that, that's the bed pulled out. Now for the seats. So it actually fits in okay that way. Obviously the length is an issue. Okay, so I have just tucked that down in there on a temporary basis and I'm going to pack this out here. I'm not sure what with yet, but I'll get something, I'll pack this out so we're nice and sturdy up top here. Now I'll lay my head down that end anyway, so I'm not my arse my feet down here. But what I will do whenever I get replacement marks for this, for the house, I'll take this one and I will just chop five inches off it and that'll fit snug in here. Now, the issue, the other issue we've got is how I'm going to cook now. So let's see what we can do that. It definitely is going to be harder. So I'll need to make some sort of big puffy pillow type seat. But that won't be hard to do. I can even just get a, um, make a seat and wrap it in like carpety, fabricy type stuff. Another little project. There we go. Tonight's home is shaping up nicely. So I just fired some pillows in below there, just for now. Because I can't be bothered starting to cut wood and manufacture like some sort of platform just now, because it's just a test, just a trial run, to see how we go on. So, as for the cooking, like I said, I don't know, I'll cook on my knees, whatever. Just for tonight, uh, build something else for that as well. And um, sure, what we'll do is I'll bring these back whenever we're on the camp. See you there. Later.
Okay, so we are at the gym. This gym is 24 hours. I think it'd be best for me to spin around and actually face away from the gym, up towards this tree here. There we go, that's a bit better. Bit of light on the subject. So, we already had dinner before we left the house there. And um, we had a charbab, being naughty. But, we have to have our dessert. So I'm just going to use up There's power and away kicking already. I thought it was a car, just pulled it up beside me. I heard a car door shut, but I'm going to hear that all night, so I'll have to get used to that. Now, what was I saying before I got interrupted? Yes, I'm just going to have the rice pudding and fruit that I've been carrying around in all these different camps. So we'll just use that. Take this out, watch off the now, mate. So, what have we got for entertainment? Oh yeah, first things first. Oh. Oh, this is great. It was a lie, fully stretched out. That's the ticket. And I've got an inch, two inches above my head. So. I'm five foot ten, fit nice and snug. Perfect. Yeah, just had to blank the cars out. The biggest thing is, just, I don't want people to hear me talking. Um, if I wasn't making these videos, it'd be no issue because I have no reason to talk. I just stick my earphones in and watch stuff and cook and all the rest of it. But yeah, so I'm going to make that. I'm just going to heat that up in the pot and um, chill and watch some movies. Yeah, so as I said earlier on, it's going to be a bit of an issue now cooking. So I'm going to have to like on my knees here until I get something else made. And this is only temporary here because I probably will do like a raised platform here. Maybe of about half a foot. And by the, that must, that much mustn't be three foot wide because it fits there okay, I must measure that. Yeah, I might do something like that. I'm on the side of it yet. Any suggestions, comment below, give me ideas. Um, but I really want a, a better sleeping platform. But that being said, let's get the grub on the go. Okay, slight change of plans. Just before I do decide to start cooking the stuff in here, um, I want to go for a, a bit of a walk down that direction and um, see how noticeable these lights are from a distance from cars driving past. Um, we're starting to steam up badly in here as well. I could really could do a crack in a window, but yeah, I think we'll go for a walk first. Cars come in here steady. Go for a walk first and we'll see how noticeable it looks. No, it doesn't look too bad at all. Can hardly see a thing. Okay. I'll chill for a minute and I'll bring you back when I'm cooking food. So I got bored of uh, Mercury Rise in there and I'm stuck on a bit of Harold Balder. And we're just going to make our... This shouldn't take too long, we're just going to heat this up. And straight away, Cooking is a bit of an error. Look at this. 
having to I'm on my knees the whole time here. You know, that's it's okay for heating up this, but I was making a proper prepping a proper meal here and that wouldn't be practical. So I we'll definitely need to sort that. So what do you think folks? I haven't had rice pudding in years. So I'm quite looking forward to this. Let's do a taste test for you. You know the score. Let's try a bit more. Got a mixed fruit. A cherry. A bit of peach. I'm assuming that's a grape. That is tasty. That is genuinely tasty. I urge you to use campers and barn lifers to try that. And that's a so quick and so easy. A mix between sweet and savoury. I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna enjoy my grub. Drink a Coke. Cheers guys. And watch some Harold. Season a bit. Time to chill. Yeah, there's not too many people think I see two cars over there, but it's hard to see through the steam in the tinted windows, but anyway. That's the last look for tonight. Bottom down the hatches now. Okay folks, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quits now. As you've seen, all's good out there, so. I am going to bomb down the hatches, add some good food. I watched another movie there. I watched um, Deep Rising, you call it. Not Murky Rising, like Deep Rising. It's like a monster type film. Really old. Watch it, it's mad. And um, yeah, I'll just see you in the morning, I think. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, I'm gonna put my little hat on. Temperature has to drop through the night. Um, I've got Old Faithful with me, of course, but if she feels Got my little snug pack and I'll put that inside. It's not a sleeping bag. Put that inside this one, but I think we'll have a real good night's sleep because this is so comfortable. So much space, but it has its pros and its cons. But anyway, we'll discuss that in the morning. Thanks for watching so far, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Um, the bed was super comfortable. That's so much better than the other little setup for sleeping. But for practical use, for sitting and for cooking, it's it's not it's no good. Because you have to sort of cook, like you have to sit on your knees, you have to squand your knees and cook, and it for a long period of time that isn't sustainable. But as for sleeping, oh, it's great. I can get fully stretched out now. Brilliant. I love that. So, I need to try and come up with some sort of idea, something in the middle. If we were to take, like a, take half a foot off this and raise it, but that's not a project for another day. Right, I'm going to go up and get myself a coffee and I'll bring these back. 
morning coffee is hard to beat. I can't function without my coffee in the morning. See a clock in the morning, the ship isn't too busy just yet, as you can see. Can you see? That's the thing I'm saying, as you can see, look, can you see? All the fitness fanatics in there on the treadmills. Pumping iron. Yeah, I cancel membership to that gym. I don't go to it anymore. <coughs> it's straight at home. I've shown my stuff in previous videos what I've got. Well, yes, now, over there. This is where I need another GoPro with like a head mount so I can just, you can just see my point of view. Over here. In this corner, I'm hoping there is a guy just where that white van is now. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not because I have you on selfie mode. But anyway, over there, there's usually a guy comes with a like a burger van type thing, but he makes real good spilled soda. So if he's here um, for the next like, half an hour, 40 minutes, I'll get one. If not, I'm going to mosey on home. So, what was the verdict? The verdict, like I said, brilliant for sleeping on crap for everyone else. So, what do you think of that? What would you do? Would you sacrifice the sleeping for the, the cooking aspect of things, or would you? Is sleep the most important thing? Well, I just noticed there too, I was went to grab my hoodie to put it on. It was shoved down the like, side well there. Is that what you call that? Down between the door and the, the seats would be. It's absolutely soaking. It's absolutely ringing. I don't know if I've got a leak there or what the crack is. Or... But I'll have a look into that. The other thing is, the little blingo. She's coming near a retirement age. There's more creaks and bangs and rattles and lights on that dashboard. And I think I need to renew and get something different. But she served me well. She definitely served me well. I think it's time to, to move on, but I'll have to wait anyway. I'm not just financially ready to buy something new yet. I'll have to wait to get a couple other debts cleared and then we can see if we get like finance on it. Something else. I'm thinking this time round, now my mind changes constantly, but I'm thinking of going for like an estate car because it would have the extra length in the boot with the seats down for me to lay out fully. I want that next time round. You know, I could sleep in the blingo, and I did sleep in the blingo, as you know, but it was snug. I could fit in, but it was snug. I want a bit of extra stretch space. So I'm thinking an estate car in that way. I still have got five seats and um, I can make some sort of system. I can fold out from the boot and fold back in. Um, keep it very minimal. You know, just the essentials, sleeping and simple cooking. That is it. Entertainment comes from a spare phone and a battery pack. And some battery lights. No fancy electronic setups, none of that. It's not need it. Um, like I don't have any. I don't use any of the, bar the electrical system in this now. I literally use battery packs. Um, does the job. The last so long. LED lights are so easy on the power. And um, sure everybody's got a spin by phone. You can just charge up and have entertainment on it. So. That's how I rule now. But that's not to say if I win the lottery. I'm not going to buy myself a big top of the range. Uh, Volkswagen camper with all the bells and whistles in it. I don't know, guys, it's after eight now, like I say, and uh, there's no sign of this guy, so. I'll watch something for a wee while, and um, if there's no sign of him, we'll have him on our own home, but um, I'll bring these back when I know what's going on. Nope. Just about to cut things off there, and there's somebody pulled up. Let's see if he notices we're here.
Ну вот все, вот он. Now she hasn't a clue. She hasn't a clue. That's at these level tents. <coughs> See what I mean? About them. Um, you know, bunged up in the mornings. Um, these limo tents are great. They are an essential for a stealth camper. Get your windows tinted with limo tent. Anyway, I proved they can't, she can't see in. Hadn't a clue we're here. I'll bring you back after a while and we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it doesn't look like a wee mate, um, wee chippy guy's coming. So it looks like a wee mate isn't coming. So, no food. No food for the video anyway. I'll go suck when I go home. I didn't bring anything because I had hoped, I'd planned on him being there and just get a filled soda. But well, anyway, we'll just nip it on the butt here then. But before you go, I'm sure you are noticing that these videos aren't as regular as they used to be. When I first started making this, um, these videos, I was doing two a week. I was doing a, a cam video and I was doing a stealth recon. And then we dropped it down to one a week. And then I, I went on for a long time and then I dropped down to one a fortnight. And now, it is just sort of whenever... Oh! There we go! He's here! Um, wonder how long it takes him to get that set up and going, but that's the thing. Um, I'll finish the outro and maybe I'll get something for a go. Maybe I'll not. Depends how long it takes him. But anyway, what was, where was it there? Yeah, the videos. So, yeah. What I'm trying to say is... I'm doing my best for you. I'll get them out when I can. That's all I can do because I'm working a lot. Um, I was thinking of making, uh, scrapping the um, the YouTube, uh, the join thing. What is it you call that? You know, you can join the channel. Getting rid of that and maybe putting, making a, a Patreon uh, page. And um, if anybody wants to help support the channel. Um, they can do so. If not, that's fine as well. But if I have the, the basically if I have to do less shifts, I can make more videos. That's that's what it is. When my days off, you know, I spend it with the family. I can't really get out making videos as much. But yeah, so I'm thinking of doing that. Let me know what you think about that. Should I do a Patreon or should no? Just don't go down that road. Now, to be honest, if I do make a, a Patreon page. It will be basically, uh, there's not much to get an offer on it. It'll be literally, you will just be helping out the channel. Because I'll throw the odd thing on it, but that's basically what it'll be. It'll just be channel help. But anyway, that is solved on the back burner. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Let me know what you think. Should I do that? Help the channel progress. Help to keep the channel going. Hey, what is he at over there? I'll give him 10 minutes. And um, if he's not, I'm going 10 minutes. I'm going on home. Anyway, guys, I'm going to outro here. And um, take this as the end of the video. But you never know. Hang on around right to the very, very end because we can come back. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. My squeaky clutch. I tried everyone to fix that. It's just a no-go. There we go. Let's get the old steering wheel.
Table eight. Did we do this right? I should have got napkins. This could get messy. You all know where so it is, don't you? Matter of fact, I think I'll get some hankies from the back. Then we'll do the taste test. It's roasting. I was just watching Matt Dawes Fitness there as I wait it. Um, it's a YouTube channel, I'm not watching Matt over in the gym doing some fitness. <laughs> it's a YouTube channel called Matt Dawes Fitness. Um, he does all sorts of stuff and he's at a place called Carnes in Manchester. It's like a restaurant where you, you go in and just give you dogs abuse. They just call you for everything, you know. It's that's funny. Eddie Hall went to it there a while back and now Matt has went to it. Um, check it out. But anyway, let's get stuck into this bad boy. Oh, she's messy. Look at the egg. The egg's busted. That's good. Very good. If you ever down this part of the woods, come to AK's Outside Catering. Try their filled soda. Safe True Steel TV recommended it. Um, you know, on a filled soda is the only time that I will eat the catering sausages. I like them on a filled soda for some reason, but we'd never buy them. We never cook them any other time. For some reason, they cut them in the middle, slice them, and they fry them up. Both, you know, so they're grilled in the middle. I like that. But anyway, I think we'll definitely sign off now. You don't want to sit me watch him be a pig and covered in grease and egg yolk. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll get the next video up as, as soon as I can, folks. Whenever, whenever I can get out. Thanks for your support over all this time. Anyway, I really appreciate it, and um, I'll do my best for you. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.